this is my first holiday without my father and it's really tough on my family. On September 11, 2023, the lives of Cheyenne Williams and her family changed forever. It's, it's really different when you go to talk to someone every day and then everything is just, it's different now. 52-year-old Alonzo Williams was hit and killed by a car on his walk home from work in Henrico. It's been a long two months and it's gonna be a long, long time. A long, um, just to keep going on. And even in the midst of her grief, Williams says there's one message she will continue to deliver. We just ask everyone to be careful, to pay attention to, um, I'm sorry guys, to be aware. And then so far year to date here in 2023, we've already had nine pedestrians that have actually been killed by motor vehicles, as well as we just had one just last night. I mean, and luckily it was not a fatality. Henrico police says this unfortunate data is amongst several reasons they and Henrico County Public Works launched their new traffic safety campaign Wednesday morning titled Watch Out Ahead Henrico or Woe. Doesn't matter what mode of transportation you use, we need you to pay attention when you're using our roadways. The campaign is a revamp of their Watch Your Step initiative, but aims to include more safety awareness and measures for all methods of travel, including walking, biking, and driving. Our pedestrians and our bicyclists out on the roadway is vulnerable users. And there's a reason for that because of the protection that they don't have around them, much like a vehicle does. So we just need people to pay attention. The initiative includes increased funding for reflective vests to make pedestrians more visible, plus sidewalks, crosswalks, and slowing down traffic, especially on major roads in the county. West Broad Street, Staples Mill, Williamsburg Road, Laburnum, Parham, and Patterson. The past few years alone, we've lowered the speed limit on over 100 roadways uh, with speed being a major factor in pedestrian and bicycle crashes. Williams says while initiatives like these truly help, it's up to each driver to do their part in saving a life. It takes a, a second to just scoot over, slow down, stop. Now, Henrico police say these vests will be available for you to pick up at select police stations across the county. They'll also be available at different community events throughout the year. In Henrico, I'm Joy Foltz for CBS 6 News.